Hello, welcome back to the channel and welcome back to another iceberg video and today um, we're gonna start a new series um, as you probably knew if you watched my old ones that there was a lot of votes for what the next one would be here is the poll on screen and as you can see I'm gonna do both of them and I'm starting off with this one here which is the creatures and sort of mythic legends sort of things that you'll see as we go down the iceberg Today I am doing tier 1 to 3 and I missed out a few uh, because I couldn't find them so if you know what they are leave it in the comments below and obviously I'll go over it in the next one. But apart from that follow my twitter link in uh, description that's where a lot of updates are and the update on the disturbing film iceberg is so if you want to be updated with that follow down below. But without further ado let's get into it. Kicking things off, we have Bigfoot, probably the most famous one on this list, and also commonly referred to as Sasquatch. In Canadian and American folklore, he is an ape-like creature that is said to live in the forests of North America. As you probably know, there are a lot of stories and a lot of supposed sightings of him, including one of the very famous photos, which I'm sure you've seen many times. But yeah, there's not really much to say on him as he's been discussed so much, but still pretty interesting. We're still in the first tier. And next we have the Yeti, and I always thought of the Yeti as just a snow version of Bigfoot. And yeah, that's how I've always thought of him, but apparently it's a lot more than that. The Yeti is also known as the Mete in Himalayan folklore, is an ape-like creature who is said to inhibit the Himalayan mountain range in Asia. In Western pop culture, the creature is commonly referred to as the Abominable Snowman. There is not nearly as enough sightings or supposed photos of him like Bigfoot, but there is a few stories of supposed footprints and things which have been left where he is said to roam. Next we have the Kraken. The Kraken is a legendary sea monster of gigantic size and also looks a bit like a massive squid slash octopus. It's mainly known from Scandinavian folklore and the Kraken dwells off the coasts of Norway, Greenland and terrorises the nearby sailors. I always thought the Kraken was particularly scary because I absolutely hate the sea and I hate the fact of anything being bigger than I am <laughs> below me. So yeah, I would never go on a cruise or anything unless I can see the shore. Okay, next we have the Jackalope. And the Jackalope is a mythical animal of North American folklore described as a jackrabbit with an antelope horns. The word Jackalope is a combination of jackrabbit and antelope as you've probably guessed. And this is mainly popular in things such as taxidermy, as they obviously kill the rabbit and then the deer, or whatever it was, antelope, and then just put the, put the horns on top of it. Okay, next we have the Fiji mermaid, and this was an object composed of the torso and the head of a juvenile monkey sewn to the back half of a fish. It was a common thing to go to in things such as museums and slideshows as presenting it as real and that it's in a mummified state and things like that, but obviously it's not real, it's just made together to look real, which is still pretty cool if you look at it. The next one on this list is called the Chapraca, Chacapra, and it is basically a legendary creature in ancient folklore, and its first reported sighting was in 1995 in Puerto Rico. It gets its name from the apparent vampirism that it shows, Sort of looks a bit like a vampire in the photos, which is kind of cool. And it is said to drink blood of things like livestock, including goats. Next on this list, we have definitely one of my favourites in this video, and this is called the fur-bearing trout. And it is exactly what you think it is. It's a trout that has fur. And I don't know why, but I find it very funny. It's a legendary creature which was found in American folklore and Icelandic folklore. According to it, the trout has been created a thick coat of fur to maintain its body heat. Tales of it date all the way back to the 17th century, and they also call it the Shaggy Trout. And next up we have the Jersey Devil, which is another very popular one, and in southern New Jersey and Philadelphia folklore, the Jersey Devil is a legendary creature said to be the inhabitant of the Pine Barrens of South Jersey. The creature is often described as a flying biped with hooves, but there are many variations. And with that one out of the way, that is Tier 1 done. And the ones which I missed are ones which I couldn't actually read on the iceberg because it's kind of low quality. 
and there's a few on each other iceberg as well including one which i just couldn't find any information on so again if you can read it or if you know anything about the ones i didn't know leave it in the comments below okay tier two and this this one is probably again in my top five um sewer croc or sewer alligator and this, these stories, they date back all the way to the 1920s and early 1930s. In most instances, they are part of um, a legend, and they are based upon reports of alligator sightings in places where they shouldn't be, really, such as sewers. The New York Times reports that the city rescued 100 alligators per year, some directly from homes where they are kept as illegal pets, and some of them also found in sewers. Though mostly above ground, those escapees and former pets may survive for a short amount of time in New York sewers. Long-term survival is not possible, and due to low temperatures and the bacteria in human feces, sewer maintenance crews insist there are no underground population. Next, we have British Big Cats and Phantom Felines. These are both on the same tiers, and with my research, um, I think that they are the same thing, both of them. But if they're not, then let me know. But basically, in British folklore, British big cats, as referred to as ABCs, phantom cats are mystery cats, feature in reports of sighting of large felines in the British countryside. These creatures have been described as panthers or pumas or black cats. Personally, I haven't seen one, but if I do, um, I'll be sure to let you know. And next, 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 we have my favourite. Oh my god. Um, I'm very excited to talk about this one. Uh, when I was doing the research for it, I was like, Holy shit, this is incredible. It's called Subway Sharks. And this is about sharks in the subway. And the only sort of true life um, experience I could find was when a dead shark was discovered on the subway in New York City. Transport officials have confirmed the unlikely passenger, about 1.2 meters, about 4 foot long, was found under a row of seats on a Queens-bound train. And if I'm being honest, I think sharks deserve to be on the subway. Um, if you agree with me, put in the comments below, hashtag SharkRiots2021. Thank you. And with that, that is tier 2 done. And as I said, there was only a few which I couldn't do, uh, because I can't read them. But if there's like a HD version of this or something, um, someone send it to me. Thank you. And now on to tier 3. And starting off tier 3, we have the Megalodon. And this was a species of shark, which is said to be the biggest one of shark. Um, there's no proof that they exist now, but teeth and things have been found. And personally, I've watched a lot of videos on these, and I find them very cool. However, as I said earlier, um, I don't exactly like the ocean, so um, <laughs> these they, they scare me. Especially when you see um, how massive they are. They went extinct approximately 23 to 3 million years ago, so sadly there are no massive sharks in the ocean. Next, we have one which I cannot pronounce. I'm going to try it though. Giganpophysis. Giganpophysis. That's how you say it. And this is a species of ape that comes from southern China. However, potential identifications of these have been made in Thailand, Vietnam, and Indonesia. This is literally just like a big monkey, so as you can tell, um, I quite like it because monkeys cool. And if you don't like monkeys, um, I respect your decision, however I like monkeys. This video has just turned into what animals do I like. <laughs> and next we have another one I can't pronounce, Mokali Membe. And that's, that's as good as it's going to get. Basically, in cryptozoology, it is a water-dwelling entity that supposedly lives in the Congo River Basin. Sometimes described as a living creature, and sometimes it is described as a spirit. I think that this one is definitely the most cool looking, and I would be scared of it. As I would be scared of everything else on this list. Um, apart from the trout, I would like to, to stroke the trout to see how soft it is, but that is the only exception. And next we have the Megaconda, and when I was looking this up, um, I just found photos from um, a really bad movie. Um, it was like a, a really low budget one, and it was about a giant snake. Um, that was very entertaining to look at, but past the really badly made film, it is actually a sort of ancient creature. 
In the Amazon rainforest in 1948, a group of native Brazilians claimed to have captured a 131 foot long snake deep in the Amazon rainforest. To date, biologists have yet to recognize a living reptile in excess of 33 or 34 feet, but some believe this giant anaconda or megaconda was in fact real. Um, I like snakes, I like reptiles, I have a lizard, but um, no. Not, not a hundred feet, that would, <laughs> I, I can't even imagine how long that is, that is very long. And next we have Champ, and in American folklore, Champ is the name of a lake monster said to live in Lake Champlain, a 125 mile long body of freshwater shared by New York and Vermont. The legend of the monster is considered a draw for tourism in the area, and... I know I did, and I'm pretty sure a lot of other people would do as well. Um, they get this mixed up with the, the Loch Ness Monster, because they, they look very similar. Um, obviously, they're not in the same place, they're like on the other side of the planet from each other, but they, they look pretty similar, as in like the photos with supposed evidence. But yeah, I thought Champ was another name for the Loch Ness Monster before this, so... And next we have another lake monster, and this is the Lake Murray monster. And this is an oceanic reptile cryptid that is said to live in Lake Murray, obviously. This is in South Carolina, and it is a lake monster which shares many similarities to the Loch Ness monster, which is what I was saying earlier. Um, if I'm being honest, my um, reptilian, ocean-bound lake monster knowledge isn't really up to date, so there are probably a few differences that I wouldn't notice. It is more serpenty, apparently, and it is said to be a descendant of the Loch Ness Monster. Also, I didn't plan this at all, but um, I did plan it, if anyone asks. Look at the gameplay. I'm literally fighting uh, a water monster. Uh, I had no idea about this, as I'd normally record gameplay before things like research, but this seemed to just time perfectly, which um, was obviously intentional. So, uh, yeah. I'm very smart, subscribe to me. Next we have the dodo bird, and this one was real. Uh, as some of the others are like more like myths, yeah this one was real. Basically this was an extinct like flightless bird that I think the Queen of England used to have as like dinner because it was like a very rich bird because they were very rare. I'm pretty sure that was a story, this is very off topic, but does anyone remember that film? Like it was stop animation about the clay pirate who had a dodo or something, and then there was like Queen Victoria. Um, I don't know why, but um, I have a very vivid memory of that. Uh, if the, the bird was based on the east of Madagascar in the Indian Ocean on a little island, and yeah, they're, they're extinct now because um, people ate them. And next we have river lizards, and I couldn't really do much research on this, but I found something that was very similar, which I think might be another name for it. But um, if I'm wrong, obviously correct me in the comments. The other name which I got for it which sounded similar was the Nugma Moni, and it's a cryptid reported from eastern Cameroon and the Republic of Congo's river. Described as a huge serpent animal with legs, it has been equated with other Central African cryptids including the Balgui and the Mbweli Mbweli Mbweli. So, um, yeah, if you have any more information on that, then let me know. I know I'm all for pronouncing things, you don't have to tell me. And lastly, for tier 3, we have the Mapinguri, and this is a Brazilian folklore this time. And the Mapinguri, also called the Juma, is a monstrous entity said to live in the Amazon rainforest. There is a lot going on in the Amazon rainforest, apparently. Anyway, I thought this one looked really cool as well, because that was like a mouth, you know, where its mouth shouldn't be. And yeah, I thought that was kind of cool. Um, I wouldn't want it to eat me, though, because that would be quite weird. Imagine, like, being digested, like, straight up. How does his organs work? That is the real question here. What is in his head? If he doesn't have a mouth, I'm thinking too much into this. After a few minutes of thinking, I have come to the conclusion that his stomach must be in his thighs and his groinal area. But um, apart from that, thank you so much for watching the video. That is three tiers done. I'm going to do this in three parts because there's nine tiers. Um, as I said, 
if you have anything else to add leave it in the comments below blah 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 follow my twitter follow my twitter if you want updates follow my twitter because if you want to know when the the shock shock nope when the disturb that's it the disturbing movie iceberg will come out you'll know then because i update every single time i watch a movie at the minute um i'm taking like a one or two day break at the minute because i was watching like three movies a day uh not that they're bad it's just i'm not really a movie person if i'm being honest i mean i am but like not like three in one day for like a solid week but yeah there have been some really good ones so far but um obviously that's that's not gonna last Yep, I have one left to do on tier 2, done all the tier 1, and tier 3 I've like, sort of started, but I'm quite excited for tier 3 because there's some movies on there which I haven't watched, which I, I want to. But enough going on about that, um, thank you so much for watching, and hopefully you like this series as much as the other ones, and I will see you in the next one. Stay spooky. Hashtag Shark Rights 2021.